Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about the DeWalt 12 volt max lithium brushless tool kit combo. It comes with two different tools. It comes with an impact driver as well as a drill driver. So what comes with this package? It's two batteries, one charger, and a bag. What makes this an ideal thing for me? Why did I choose it over the Milwaukee or over the 20 uh, volt max? I'll be honest with you, it's this right here. It's the Extreme Subcompact Series. So I was looking for something that is compact as well as useful for DIY. This fit the bill. So I went with it in my first purchase. And if you've been subscribed to my videos, you know that it was the actual DeWalt screwdriver. So after I got that, I went ahead and got these other devices. And I'm so far pleased with everything I've seen. Once we open this up, I'm sure I'll be happy with what I see, but I'll give you my honest feedback as we go through this process. Let's look at the back. DCD701 drill driver. Max power, 250 UWO. Max RPM, 1500 RPM. Clutch settings, it has 15 of those. Chuck size, it's a 3 8. Those wanting to know in millimeters, it is a 10 millimeter. Tool length, 5.97 inches or 151.7 millimeters. Tool weight, 1.9 pounds or 0.87 kilograms. So let's look at the second one, the, the DCF801 impact driver. Max fastening torque. It is 1,450 inch pounds or 163.8 Newton meters. No load speed. It tops out at 2,850 RPMs. Driver size, quarter inch or 6.35 millimeters. Impacts per minute. That will be 3,600 impacts per minute. Tool length, 5.05 inches or 128.25 millimeters. Tool weight, it comes in at 1.75 pounds or 0.79 kilograms. The one thing I will say about the weight is I'm not sure if they are talking about just the tool only or just the tool and the battery. Because if you notice here, one of the pictures for both of them, they actually show the battery connected for each one of them. So I'm not quite sure if that means it's the tool only or the battery. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and check it out, see what's in it. All right. All right, there we go. All right, nice bag. And I think the bags are a nice treat, but definitely not necessary. I usually don't use the bags. I usually either put them in my tool bag or I hang them in my garage. No need to carry a tool bag. All right, so let's see what we have in here. We'll check it out. Um, first thing that I see that came in here are the instructions. That's good. Um, I think you've seen in my other uh, unboxings what I do with instructions. We have to read these very carefully and very diligently. Um, there are two tools. Again, we have one for the DCF801 and the DCD701. And the way that you read these is you chunk them. No need them. We'll figure them out. I think drills are a perfect way to learn how to use things. So let's move on. First thing we have is a charger. All right, that's great. Next thing we have are the actual belt clips. We have a drill, we have a battery, we have another drill, and one more battery. All right, I think we can get rid of this. So let's go ahead and take everything out. First, what we see here is the actual drill. So let's take that out of the plastic bag. First impressions are always the best impressions. Wow. I like that. Very, very, very compact. Very great in the hand. I love this ergonomic grip. Okay. So we got that right there. Let's look at this one here. This is the actual impact driver. Let's look at this one. Check it out. Again, no complaints. Love the compact. Love the ergonomics of the handle. Can't say enough about it. 
looks good put it right next to this one you can see for comparisons how the, how much different they are this one's a little longer but this is very compact all right so we have that one and we have this one so we'll put that one there and we'll put this one here i guess for now well, it'll be balanced when we put the battery on there but for now be careful all right let's take out what else comes with this comes with two batteries let's take those out all right very nice Again, very compact, I like it. All right. And lastly, we have the belt clips. All right. Okay, and then you don't have to unbox it, but it does come with a charger already, not wrapped or nothing. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and start looking at all the items. Let's go, let's look at first these batteries. Um, one of the things that I like them, even though it is a compact, it still gives you a battery indicator. It's usually three. Um, you can tell that one's battery is a little low. That's all right. This one, same thing. No problem. All right, let's go ahead and connect these. You always connect it like this and you get that satisfying sound. Click. I like it. Next one. Click. Okay, so we put them together. Let's go ahead and check them out. I got the belt clips on them. So we're gonna just look at each of the functions and see what we have and what we like and what we don't like. So as you can see, this has 15 clutch settings and two settings to do what's needed. One, and then we can put it back. A little hard but i'm sure to get we'll get used to it as soon as uh we wear it in a little so there's a clutch setting to like that all the way all right all right um got a little light right there you can see most drill guns nowadays come with a light so i like that um, as you can see right there is where the actual uh, wording is for what kind of drill this is. So that's always a good thing. We can see there that it says DCD701. All right. Look at the back of it. Extreme. As you can see, we have the little logo right there. I like that logo. We got vents right here for the air to come in and out. And then we have the other side. All right, that looks really good. Let's go ahead and put a drill bit in this. I just need to open it up. I think the best thing about this is just the ergonomics of it. The ergonomics are outstanding. Um, you know, it isn't all perfect, of course. It isn't all what you would expect from a very powerful, high-performance gun. But I think for a DIY, it's what you need and could use. Um, give you a couple examples of some of the things that are a little bit misleading, but yet they're good, right? So let's look at the first thing is the chuck. Um, while the interior does have metal, as you could tell, this exterior is completely plastic. All this is plastic. All this is molded. I mean, it's good molding, of course, and it, you can see how the handle's great. So that's great right there. Um, this whole chuck is plastic. This right here is like what I was just saying a few minutes ago. I'll show you examples of items that are misleading, right? Although this looks like it's metal, it is not metal. It's just plastic made to look like metal. Um, you can see clearly right here, the plastic, because it's painted on there and it's already somewhat faded, but it's good, right? 
those are the only two things I would say. But, you know, if I was to give this, uh, rate it from one to 10, I'd say it's a nine and three quarters, if not close to a 10, because those small things are not going to affect me from working at home and doing things around the house. Okay. So that's the first thing. So that's good. You know, so enjoy that. All right. So we'll put this one to the side and we'll look at the next one and look at this one again. There's the DeWalt. Is this a quarter inch um, brushless DeWalt? Got a nice collet right there. Let's look at the light right quick. It's got that diffuser on it, you can see. Look at it from an angle. You see how it blends in nicely. It kind of gives it right here, like if it's using it as a light to cast that nice diffused light. Um, I actually like that, okay? A little bit different here than the uh, other one. You can see here we have some external vents. This one, it looks like the same molding, except these vents are sealed completely on this one. Um, just a little bit of a FYI. Um, and it's the same thing here. You have vent open here, 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 and these right here. Same as this one over here, 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 and there. Um, this vent here is actually closed where it's open over here. So I'm assuming that one over there probably needs more air or something. I'm sure there's a reason for it. So we got the belt clip again. One of the things I do like about this is that you're able to put this little indicator there to see what kind of battery life we have left. That's great. Um, and then you can see right here. A little bit of the information that's on the side of it these all dewalt guns i think have this that's one of the things that i do like it kind of gives you everything there all right so again there's the back okay and again this is a collet let's go ahead and put something in there okay you can see you can kind of tell there's a little bit of wobble there i think it's fine See how it's going up and down a little? As you go faster, you can see it. Let's put this on the fastest setting. There we go. You see that wobble? I mean, that's gonna happen with almost all drilling guns. So get a smaller bit. The longer the bit, the more wobble you have. So it's just something to think about. Um, this is an actual bit that goes to my Milwaukee ratchet screw, but I just like the size of it. I'm getting some other ones to use, but for now, I think this is going to do the job. Okay. So this impact driver is really, really good. Get a little close up of it here. Here's the collet. Here's the actual sign, vents and everything. Okay. I think the best thing about these DeWalt Extreme brushless drills is just the ergonomics of this handle. It's just impeccable. I, I tell you what, they really did a good job in thinking about it, thinking through it. And I'm not sure how they went about it, but I tell you what, it's, it's definitely by far one of the best ergonomic grips that I, that I have. And I have large hands too, so, um, and this works for me really good. Okay, I think. So I think the last thing we'll look at is just the uh, actual battery. So let's take the battery out, push it, and then it comes right out. We'll put this right here for right now, lay it on its side because we do have that belt clip. And like we said earlier, here's the actual charger. Um, as you can tell, it does say it's a DCB112. Um, the one thing I will say about this charger is that you can actually also charge 20 volt max batteries on this charger. It's built to use both of them. So one charger charges two different style of batteries, both the 12 volt and the 20 volt. Um, let's see how it goes in here. So you just grab it here and you'll hear a click when it's ready. Just put it there and, and then click. So that's great right there. So one of the things that I like about this is you have these indicators here. The first one is packet charging and it's a blinking light. The second one is pack charged, which is a steady light. And then you have both lights on, but one of them flashing, which is a hot code delay. Okay, 
Um, just uh, something to throw out there. I think um, what I do like about this too, and I'll show you is the back. I do like those little holes right here on each one that allows me to be able to mount this on my wall and then just charge these, okay? I think this is a good drill. Let's give it a whirl and see what it does now that we have it in there. Nice. Goes through it quickly. Look at that. I like that. Very good. I think the next thing we'll have to do is now uh, try this uh, impact driver. Let's get a screw and we could try it. This is does do in real situations. So let me get a screw here and we can try it out. See what happens. I'm expecting it to work without no problem, but you never know until you try. So let's try it. Here we go. Look at that, perfect, perfect. Let's try that setting number three. The uh, one that has that little weird symbol next to it and see what it does. Uh, look at that, it stops it before it gets any further. That's really good, I like that. that, that that's, that's just actually, and then you can start going and it down. Look at that, no problem whatsoever. And again, the fact that these tools are compact is what sold me to these tools. Very nice, very nice, very well built. No complaints whatsoever. Alrighty, everybody. So that's my video, my actual review of the actual kit that comes with both the impact as well as the drill driver. This was a 12 volt DeWalt brushless tool combo kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing. And I'll hope to bring more content to you about different kind of drills as well as different kind of DIY things that can be used around the house. Have a great one. Bye-bye.